one step forward and two steps back. Well, in the last video, I got the oiling system working. Uh, I got my head installed. I put my three-phase motor on. I was uh, really ready to go. So I thought this weekend I'll concentrate on getting the electronics hooked up and getting everything working. And to my surprise, it's been um, a little bit of a headache. Uh, first, first thing was trying to get the stepper motors to work. I got X and Y working just fine. Um, in fact, it'll get up to, the highest I went was like 200 inches per minute. No problem, no stalling, nothing. Um, X and Y work just fine. Z, which is the bigger 900 ounce motor, I couldn't get it to move the gearbox motor and I couldn't get it to move at all and I mean it would move but as soon as I try to move it it would just start skipping steps and stall so then I decided well I'll concentrate on trying to get the spindle working in Mach 3 when I purchased my VFD it came from automation recovery uh, off of eBay it was only like hundred and fifty dollars and it was used and so I didn't realize I went through and changed the main parameters but I didn't check any of the other ones and I couldn't get it to run and lo and behold there was a parameter in there that I needed to change and then I had some wiring that I had to rework and I'll cover that uh, once the build gets done uh, I'll repost some correct wiring for you guys but I finally got the spindle working and I finally figured out what was wrong with the Z motor. The Z motor is just bad. Let me see if I can show you. So this is my Z motor here. Let me get this powered on. Okay. Now this is my Z motor. Let me get this plugged up. Well, first of all, I have my X motor. I took it off and just stuck it up there. It's not even bolted down. It's just in there uh, to see. And remember the X and the Y motors are smaller than the Z motor. Uh, they're 573 ounce, I think, something like that. I can't remember. Um, so they're smaller. Now the Z, the X motor is currently on the Z axis and it is plugged into my Z driver but it's and the actual parameters are the same as the X parameters the acceleration and the the acceleration and the inches per minute are around 150 I think all right so we can see the small motor has no problem moving the x-axis at 150 inches per minute actually it says on the computer 168 but I haven't set my uh, steps yet so it might be a little off okay no problem. So I put my Z axis up here, motor back up here. Uh, you know what? Let me get this off. So let me put my Z motor back up in its spot. Remember, the Z motor is a lot bigger than 
the X and the Y motors. It's going, I'm going to plug it into the same driver, which was the Z driver. So the settings in Mach 3 are all the same. Okay. Now, when I try to move it, doesn't want to budge. And at first, I thought, well, surely it's I've done something wrong. Uh, I wouldn't. They wouldn't send you a bad motor, would they? Well, apparently they did because the X motor works fine here, so there's nothing binding. I double checked everything. Um, I knew there wasn't anything binding, but I double checked anyways, and. You can see it doesn't even want to pick up the Z dovetails. I mean, it doesn't want to move that whatsoever. Um, likewise, I took my Z motor and mounted it into X just to see. Uh, and it, same result. It just doesn't want to work. So, I've contacted the person I purchased this from, which happened to be back in October of 2015. Uh, but this is the first time I've actually hooked them up, and it's not any good. So we'll see what kind of response I get for them, uh, from them about the motor. Uh, hopefully they'll make it good. Problem is, they're in China, so shipping was like $80. So even if I ship this one back and get another one, I'm still going to be out the same amount. So I, I don't know how that's going to work out. So we'll just see what they say. As far as the stepper motor goes, that's where I'm at on that. And I know you're probably gonna say, well, did you check this? Did you, did you check your settings on your driver? Did you check all of that? And the answer to that is, right now it's set up for a quarter stepping. I changed that to 200, which was full step. I changed it to half step, which was 400. And then I'm running the other ones at quarter stepping. They're not having a problem. And then, so then I bumped down the amperage. Um, this motor is rated at three and a half amps. And I already had these set at three and a half. So I set that one at three and a half. Uh, these two are rated at five amps. And the bigger one's rated at three and a half. So I just set them all to three and a half. But I even bumped that down. It didn't make a difference. I bumped the amperage up. That didn't make a difference. So I, I did everything I possibly could think of. I ohmed it out. The winding seemed to be good. So I don't know. At least they're measuring the same as the other motors. So I don't really know what the problem is. But as you can see, it just doesn't have any torque at all. But the small motor seemed to work fine. So really, I think that big motor is kind of overkill anyways. But... That's why I got it, to make sure I had enough. Now, as far as the spindle, let's check that out. So, got the VFD. It's in the ready state there. And I can turn the spindle on. I've got the speed set at, um, I've got the speed set at, 3425 which is a hundred percent so that's like 60 Hertz that's my full motor speed I had to take it off because I thought maybe the extra weight was causing the problem with the Z so I took everything off and it, I was still having the problem so okay so we're gonna hit spindle on And then we got our 60 hertz and spindle off. It stops pretty quick. All right, that was uh, forward, but let's do 
Let's do a M4. That's reverse. That was reverse. And then we can do a M3. Let's try S. Eighteen hundred. Which is about half. Eighteen hundred is about half of not quite half. A little more than half. Let's try uh Five hundred. Of course, I don't have a tachometer, so I don't know how accurate that is. But so if five hundred is about. 5.4 hertz then a thousand should be about 11 hertz or so all right 13 hertz so 2000 should be about 26 hertz, 25 hertz. Well, 33, I? oh yeah, okay. Guess that's about right. And then, uh, This works. Say in eighteen ninety four. That's saying full speed, which is full speed. And that's the braking. So pretty happy with the spindle working. Got it going forward and reverse. So we'll see what they say about the stepper motor. So I'm pretty happy I got the spindle working and uh, at least the X and the Y working. So like I said, one step forward and two steps back. Um, but at least I know where I stand. So I'll... Uh, let you guys know what happens with the stepper motor. Uh, either, regardless, I've got to get one. So either way, I guess I'm going to be out 180 bucks, uh, unless I can get a cheaper somewhere else. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thumbs up if your luck is as good as mine. Thanks for watching, and most importantly. Be safe.